be live. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. I am with a very special guest today. Um, f hugely special, hugely special guest. And that is my good friend, Lexi. And Lexi, if people don't know who you are, which I'm sure people, everyone knows who you are, but would you just like to introduce yourself and just sure. see what about you do on your channel and, and things like that? Okay. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Lexi. I have a YouTube channel. It's under the name Alexandra Roseland, which is what my mother calls me when I'm in trouble. Um, <laughs> and I talk about middle grade. I usually do some vlogs where I bake, but I feel like I talk about a lot of stuff. It, mostly it's middle grade, but it seems to be, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Are, Gavin, are you like this? Do you ever um, like get into a mood where you just read one genre and then you totally switch and you're like, where did that come from? So like right now I'm into nonfiction, which is weird. Yeah. hundred oh, percent. And you know what? It usually comes at the worst time. Yeah. So with believe -a I really wanted to be in the mood for middle grade all the time, but now it's happened. All I want to do now is to read adult books. <laughs> I yeah. want to read all the adult and now it's just, it's the worst time for that because I need to focus on middle grade. But <laughs> I, I'm just in that mood now where I just, now I just want to read some adult books, you know? Yeah, no, that was oh. actually, that was me during my uh, readathon is I was like, okay, great middle grade. And the whole time I just wanted to binge like YA fantasy. And I was like, what is wrong with you, Lexi? Like get your head in the game, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm exactly, I'm exactly the same. And I feel like it. it's kind of, uh somebody's laughing at us you know upstairs you know, know. like this this is like karma <laughs> hey everyone uh it's really nice to see everyone in the chat um i know i've been a little bit absent lately but i do see everyone and it's really nice to see everyone still here still doing the reading and it's okay if you're not reading middle grade right now you can do whatever you want during these sprints you can read your YA, your adult if you want to write I've had a few people actually during these sprints do some writing as we're that. reading. Yeah, that's like, I, you know what, next time I do a reading sprint or um, I'm watching somebody else do a reading sprint, I'm probably just going to end up writing because I, I know me that. and Lexi are both. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's just like such a good use of time. Such mm -hmm. a good use of time. You can literally do anything. Um, <laughs> don't make your readathon middle grade. I mean, it's hard, that <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's hard. Oh, thank you, Kia. Um, but yeah, so this live reading sprint is going to be split. I think maybe three twenty-minute sprints. Like we'll talk and everything in between. We'll ask questions. Um, but I think maybe three twenty middle twenty middle grade three like twenty it. minute. 320 minute reading sprints and we'll we'll um section that i have the timer and everything ready um uh, so i lexi um what have you been reading recently that would be perfect for the viewers who are looking for a really good middle grade what are you what is it you're reading oh okay so i am right in the middle of the nowhere emporium love it it's gavin it's right up your street like it hooked me from the very first page so this mm. is you know what it reminds me of have you ever read the night circus no and i really really need to i'm terrible it's okay terrible. it's it's so good it's so good it reminds me of the night circus but it also kind of reminds me of this one random twilight zone episode i saw i love the twilight zone it's mm, good job. You, have you ever watched the twilight zone it's like the black and white it's weird yeah every now and then and i'm sure they've done some re, re like they've redone it a lot of times as well i think yeah. it was like on the cw or something and I think there was like a new version of it. I think I might have seen the new ones. I haven't seen old versions of it, but I've, I'm sure I've seen new versions of it. Yeah, it's well, that's what it kind of reminds me of. But I think for these sprints, I want to read Hollow Pox because I've been saving this and I re I can't wait anymore. It was It's going on my December TBR, but I have to start it today. I'm really excited. So. Yeah, I mean, there's no rule saying that you can't carry over anything you read now into December, right? Yeah. I mean, in Plus it's hollow pox, it, it deserves it. Um, but also everyone let me know in the chat, let us know in the chat what you're reading right now and we'll see if we've uh, we've um, read it before and if we can, you know, recommend it. What um, are you reading, um, Gavin? Right now I am yeah. reading The Christmas Horus by Tom <gasps> Fletcher. I've seen that, it's so precious. Look at the spray edges, oh my gosh. That is well, a beautiful book. I would you need to say the sequel as well. So the sequel is kind of the same, it's just come out in paperback, but this is a sequel with a really shiny cover. It's beautiful. Blues, 
Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Like, I can't wait to get to this one. So hopefully I get to read it next month. But I was supposed to read this back in October and I rolled it over by accident. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but you, you know how it goes, you know. You're, yeah. you're, you're in the mood for something um, and you should have read it in a certain amount of time. It just doesn't happen. So yeah, that's, um, but also in the in the spirit of Christmas Saurus, I do want to show everyone my beautiful shelves. Yes. Me. Very nice. I've got acorns, um, like these pine cones. Is it pine so cones? Pretty. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's pine cones, yeah. Yeah, um, and I've just even like, just for a bit of detail, I've sprinkled some snow on top of it. So it the looks detail. like it's snowed. The it's detail beautiful. Like, yeah. <laughs> I love yes. it, and I, I love, wait, do you normally have lights on yours? And I just don't notice no. that? Yeah, they look, it's magical, it's so pretty. Yeah, I thought I would add some fairy lights. It always adds a little summit summit, you know, when you've got some fairy lights on. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm gonna see what everybody else is reading in the comments, and then maybe at about ten past we can start our first twenty minutes. Sounds good. Um, awesome. Oh, I just saw one that was one that we read together recently. Oh no, I think it's too far out. Um, but it was the train to impossible places. There it is. Train to impossible places. Loved it. That was a five out of five for me. I love that book. It's one of those middle grade books that really embodies magic and yes. like the whimsy that we love, you know, in middle grades, it's perfect. Yeah, and PG Bell, he was so cool. Wasn't he so cool? When, okay, when he showed up as the Dormouse, I was oh. not expecting that at the live. That was, by the way, that was my favorite live I've ever done in my entire life. Like it was so much fun with you and Jade. I think Jade is Same. here too, by the way. Hi, Jade. Hi, Jade. Yeah, same. It's, it was such a fun life. I was not expecting him to go all out. Like, he went above and beyond. I know. Ab above and beyond. Uh, <laughs> oh, Ready ready Player 2. I cannot wait to read that, by the way. That sounds so awesome. Oh, Greek Myths uh, by Jean Bookish Thoughts. I don't know if I you know this, but... Yeah, isn't she amazing? Yeah. Like, she, she published a book called Greek Myths, and I have it. It, it looks phenomenal, and it's like perfect for children to read as well um we need to read that i think we, we do we i would love that um she was actually one of the booktubers that i started watching before i joined booktube um <laughs> have you ever do you have booktubers like that where like you were yeah. huge fans before you joined and like you're still a big fan and you're like afraid to talk to them that's me with her 100 percent. oh really is it oh bless she's so nice as well and i just so accessible and so down to earth uh, but i do have a lot of people like that uh, especially i think for me is jesse the reader oh yeah um yeah he like uh, every almost every book i bought back in like 2014 would be books that he would recommend um and then he said hello to me in a live chat once and i've screenshot that and i still <laughs> got it and i still got it as well so i that is like my my peak. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Oh. Oh. Uh, ooh. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say reading Holopox in December too. So that's going to be really good. Yeah. Uh, I'm really high up on these comments. So I don't know if anybody's mentioned anything recently. Uh, oh. I listened to the audiobook of Holopox. It's awesome. Oh. Uh, Tunnel of Bones, Crescent City, Heart of Fiesta Broken. Wait, it's fine. It doesn't have to be middle grade. Don't worry about it. Uh, tre 13 Treasures, really good. Orion Lost, another Train of Impossible Places, 10 Rules of Earth Quicksmith. Uh, we have a lot of people reading some great stuff. Yeah. Um, so, or oh, Book Wanderers, love it. Uh, oh, Lexi, I'm waiting for your review of Addie LaRue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Being five called out. out. Five. It was a five out of five star. It was amazing. I loved it so much. I think I, I think I gave it five out of five. It was either a four point five or a five. I loved it. I thought it was great. Oh, good. Good. I can't wait to read it. I should read it because I've got two copies of it now. So it's. Do you really? Are they different yeah. like versions? Yeah, there was one that was like a Waterstones exclusive that I'd pre-ordered months before, mm -hmm. and then got one in the Illumicrate box as well. Ooh, um, nice. So it was pretty good. Uh, Jade's reading Mad Ship. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a huge book as well, bless you, Jade. <laughs> uh, you can do it, you can do it. Um, and I feel like you could class Greek myths by Gina. Mm, it's like, it, it is nonfiction children's because it's like, it is Greek myths and it introduces the characters and all the different kinds of myths in a way that's understandable for like children and things, really heavily illustrated. So children's or middle grade both. <laughs> it's like, you could, you could give it to a child. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would say. 
yeah, it's really hard to uh, to say that. Anyway, uh, it's approached 10 past. We can start our first 20 minutes, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, share screen. And I, I've only recently learned how to do this from Molly. So let's see if this worked. Share screen. There we go. Yay. Let's let's start our first 20 minutes. Are you ready, Lexi? Yeah, I'll mute you guys because I'm going to listen to an ASMR fireplace and pretend I'm <gasps> swanky. Nice. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, there's a really good Christmas one. I'm going to send you... I want to send really? you. Uh, yeah, you, might already, you, you might already know it, but I'm going to send you the one that I've been using recently. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>
And it's done. <laughs> okay. That is, I'm at a really good spot. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm trying to remember now how Hollow Pox started. Uh, but I, yeah, I feel like there's so much, you're going to end up doing that during the entire book because there's so many moments sprinkled throughout where you're just going to be like, I'm not going to stop reading here. No way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but let us know how you did in the comments. Lexi, do you know how many pages you read? I lost count. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention. Yes, I got to page 22. So 22 pages. Nice. Oh my gosh, so nice. Oh, um, hi, Rebecca. Sorry. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Liv, as well. Um, there's. I've gone quite far, but there's quite a lot of pages that are like this. So it's like big text and like big illustrations. So it's like filled with things like that. So it's quite a fast read. <gasps> I just saw Frost Hall. I just saw Frost Hall. Yeah, they they mentioned it earlier too, I believe. I'm oh my sure. gosh, how how did I miss that? As soon as I say Frost, I'm just. <laughs> 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 oh, Green Glass House, nice. That is the next whimsy book, right? Yes, I love that book. It's so good. Yeah, it's so it's perfect time to read it as well. Get a hot chocolate. Oh, look at this. Oh, Lexi is a queen. Oh, oh that's so sweet. Um, well, I just found this actually what is we're just doing some reading sprints. Um, for like we've got like another hour. Um, but yeah, just to catch up with your reading. Uh oh, Jade got up to page five nine eight, so close to page six hundred. Oh nice. Just in, the, a book that big, still it it blows my mind. How many I, pages is that? I'm Jay, pretty sure this, she's got quite a lot more to go, I think. Oh my gosh. That's a big <laughs> I book. I think, it, yeah, I think so. Unless it's because I think it's the Robin Hobb books, and I'm sure some of them go up to like a thousand pages or something. Uh, oh, Liv finished North Child during the sprint. Oh, I love, that's such a good book. Perfect. Liv, I time. really want to read that. That was on my last December TBR, and I meant to read that. By the way, Liv, did you change your profile picture? Because that one is so cute. Oh, Look at her hat. It is. Yeah, I think that's Liv's um, on Twitter as well. So I've seen it. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, one chapter of Ready Player Two. I hope it's such a good book. I always feel when there's a really hyped sequel coming out, I really hope that it lives up to it, especially since how long it took for it to come out. Uh, oh, just finish it. Oh, also, you can edit during like reading sprints as well. Like if you're just in a spot of editing, I'd love to do that too. Um, That's a good idea. I do that yes. with my friend Soleil. We do um, study sprints and I do a lot of YouTube stuff during it too. Oh, such a good idea, such a good idea. Uh, 15 pages of Winter House, love that oh, book. Nice. What did you say there? I saw <laughs> Jade. Your... Jade says 906 pages. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh my gosh. I that's I don't know why, but big books are so intimidating to me. I have no idea why. It's annoying. No, I, I know why. It's because like if especially because a lot of the big books have huge chapters as well. It's not just like short chapters to break yeah. it up. It's usually like 50 page chapters, and that's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so intimidating. Um but yeah, they intimidate me too, but wow. Uh, coming on page 60 of Creature Keeper, nice. Um, if you guys have any questions for Lexi or I, do let us know. We'll do our next reading sprint at like 22. Um, okay. So like in, in six minutes or something. Um, yeah, I think that'll be cool. Um, oh yeah, it's Liv's Fall Portrait. I have to do a wintry one soon. Oh, that'd be so cool. Her Instagram is... Like, Liv, your Instagram, I say this all the time, is, like, my favorite Instagram. It's so aesthetically pleasing. Like, I actually want to get more into Instagram in 2021 because I think Instagram is so fun. But I just have no idea how to make it look pretty. <laughs> you and me both. But you're saying, <laughs> that, you're saying that your, like, thumbnails for YouTube is usually, like, they're aesthetically brilliant. Oh, thank you. So, like... You could you could definitely do bookstagram and have all of the aesthetically pleasing photos on. You could definitely do that. Thank you. Twenty twenty one. It's you're gonna have it. You're gonna have it all. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, 
I just saw, oh, Alexia, are you going to be decorating your shelves for Christmas? Yes, I'm doing that. I'm planning on doing it the first because I'm going to do Vlogmas this year, but I'm not doing every single day. I'm doing like once a week, I think, but I'm really excited. I've actually planned out my whole week. It's going to be really fun. Are you doing Vlogmas this year, Gavin? Are you doing like weekly themed Christmas well, vlogs? Not exactly Vlogmas. I was going to do Bookmas uh, that Yay. Haley and Bookland does and do a video every day. Um, and I even like had a little schedule written down and like what I was going to do for each of them. Um, but like with me going back to work on Tuesday, um, cause like the lockdown ends on Wednesday, I go back on Tuesday to like help set up and things like that. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it every day. So I'm going to try and like up the ante with like a lot of the videos I do. Like I have like lots planned, like festive middle grade books to read this winter oh, and um, yes. favorite festive things. And you know, like things like that, that I've seen other people do that I'm really inspired by. Uh, so I, I want to do, I still want to do stuff like that. Just not every day. And I, I, can't, love I can't it. vlog. I, I, you, last year you did um, Cozy Little Readathon. Was that? That yeah, was so much fun. I don't know if, so that's actually Soleil's and she was kind enough to ask me to co-host. I don't know if we're doing it again this year because it's pretty late. Um, but yeah. I don't, I, I hope, I hope she does because I, I, that was so much fun. Uh, that was actually one of the, my favorite weekends cause it was so cozy and I got yeah. to try to make a gingerbread house and I love gingerbread houses. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love that one. It you made so one cool. too. You made a reindeer. <laughs> I it made a very... <laughs> Bad reindeer. <laughs> it was with uh with Marilyn Claus. Is that right? I'm pretty sure yeah. that's right. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, I could never do that again. The cleanup, the amount of stuff I got on the floor <laughs> was oh my god. I'm pretty sure every now and then I can still smell that, you know, the icing thing that I made to like the to glue it all together. I can still yeah. smell it. <laughs> I swear I, I can just, still I smell can it. like I can picture the way you I don't know how you managed to do everything so funny, but like I've never watched a video and just like not laughed hysterically. That segment of you baking, I like was crying from laughing so hard. It was so good. Oh, thank you. And yeah, that was like very early on in our like friendship as well. So it's like, this is like a first impression. That was a first impression for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, what are some wintry holiday reads? Do you have a favorite one? Um, it can be any, I think, adult, young adult, middle grade. Um, I Okay, so if you want something set around the winter time, but you don't necessarily want it to center around Christmas, We Are Okay is really good. It's uh, the writing. I think it's by Nina LaCour. The writing is really beautiful. It's actually very tragic. Like, it's about a girl who's grieving, but... I remember like the setting being very cozy and very nice because it's like set in winter time in New York City. And then if you want an adult one, I really liked what is the one by Catherine Arden that um Ooh, Better than the Nightingale? That's it. I loved that one. I felt like the atmosphere and the cozy vibes were peak, like absolute peak. Mm -hmm. And then for middle grade, I would say Green Glass House. Oh, or The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That one is Ooh. so good. I mean, who doesn't want to party with Mr. Tumness like after reading that every single time? Have well, you oh, go ahead. Well, I, I was going to say, I literally just rewatched The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe like three nights ago. I hadn't watched it in years. And James McAvoy as Mr. Tumness was just my my cup of tea. He yeah. was my cup of tea. He's uh, my cup so, of yeah. tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also, have you ever had Turkish Delight? No, actually, I've never tried it. It looks so nice in the movie. I don't know if it's like actually going to be like nice in real life. I've never come across it in a shop before. I, you know what? I think I'm going to have to try it like from a legit place because I mm. ordered it like three years ago and it was not the one, but I don't think like I should have, I should have gone to like a legit place um, and tried other things. Yeah. I'm still hopeful that it'll be the best thing that you know i ever try but i don't know i don't know but anyways how about you though uh what what are your favorite winter recommendations well somebody just mentioned that they're reading winter house by ben goodison in okay. the comments i would i really enjoyed that one i read it for paulathon um back in feb and i really need to read the second one but winter house the first one it was just it had those Feelings that Green Glass House gave me with like the cozy setting, so the cozy. atmosphere, so beautiful. And I, I love the mystery of it as well me and too. how unique the chapter headings were for it as well with like the whole word 
thing, the wordplay that it was doing. I can't remember what it's called. I, always yeah, I don't remember. I'll have to look yeah. at it. I have, I have the, yeah. I haven't read the second one. Is the second one also in oh. winter? Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think she goes back to her in winter time. So it's still the secrets of winter house. Mm -hmm. It okay. still looks like a bit wintry at the back there, but I know they changed it. Um, like the chapter happens to be like anagram kind of things rather than in winter house with the that wordplay thing oh that's what you're yeah. yes okay i remember now yeah yeah i love that i want to play that but i would definitely recommend um the first one anyway that's but uh, i've got a video coming so you guys can have a little look at that oh i would also recommend this okay we can start our sprint at quarter two maybe okay instead, sorry um so i would totally recommend this but um there's quite a lot of bullying going on at like the start and um, because the main character is in a wheelchair so i would be careful if you are giving this to somebody um just because like there's a lot of name calling and it's quite horrific like it's probably like, the worst bullying i've ever seen in a middle grade um but like the whole but i i think it gets better in like you know he's proud of who he is and, and all of that so it's like it is a beautiful story later on but just like i feel like yeah be careful about uh the start of this so far though now it's like gotten so christmasy and oh, i love the relationship with the dinosaur as well it's just so so pretty oh uh lexi i wanted to ask you if you like pretty little liars either the books or the show i actually mm. read the first book or maybe the first two books or something like that um, before mm -hmm. it was really popular. And then when the show came out, I used to watch it in college with my best friends. I would go over to their house like after, well, when it would premiere and we would all have like watch along parties. I, I have to say though, I haven't seen every single season because um, it was really, really, really good in the beginning. And then after mm -hmm. a while I was like, okay, who is A? Um, but yeah, anyways, yes, I have. And I, I like that one and I like Gossip Girl because, you know, we don't, we, I mean, who doesn't love uh, Serena and Blair? <laughs> well, saying that, I want, I've i never seen like Gossip Girl all the way through. I always watched episodes here and there. And Me it messed it messed with my head because like I would get lost in what the story was. But I would still really enjoy just like the, the banter and the dynamics between the characters. It was, sometimes it was so savage and I was like living for the drama, but like other yes. times it was just, it was just great. So I'll watch it, but it took me over a year to watch Gilmore Girls. So I don't know how I'm gonna, I, I still know. haven't seen all of them either. I still have not seen all of them. See, you're like ahead of me because I've only, yeah. I haven't seen Rory's like college years. I've only seen ah. a couple episodes, but I'm super team Logan, obviously. Um, But about Gossip Girl, I was actually, I'm old. It was it was coming out when I was in uh, private school at the time too. And I would try to copy their style. And it was so funny because you could see like this wave of everyone uh, trying to wear like the colorful tights and like do their little ties the way that Gossip Girl did. And yeah, okay. oh my God. it makes me want to live in America. Like, but like to have that school experience because it, it just, it's so different to how it is in, in England. Is it really? But how is it oh different? Oh my gosh. It just it isn't as it just doesn't come across as cool. Like in England, it, I don't know, just everything just seemed to like we never went to parties or we never kind of it just I I it's so hard to explain now, but because it's such a long time ago. But it just I feel like um a lot of like 90210, um, things like that, like everything just was just so glamorous and there was nothing like that in like a British school that I went to anyway. It could have for maybe further down south but because i'm from the north everything was maybe a little bit more rough <laughs> you know you. so yeah so it's like totally not as glam it's like yeah but yeah it's prettier um, over there though so you guys win overall <laughs> if i lived in scotland yes <laughs> edinburgh someday edinburgh. edinburgh yeah it will happen it will happen um do you guys know any channels do that do reading sprints often yeah um molly from mind of molly does them every sunday at 8 p.m so she'll be doing one today at eight uh well that's in like an hour and 15 minutes if you're not in the uk um but i would definitely recommend yeah mind of molly does them every sunday i um, don't know any i like them too though i like love joining yours gavin i know that you do a ton um you really do um and i love them i think especially like being in them and then also participating like it's just so much fun yeah 100 percent. but then i also have to keep an eye on the limit because Streamyard only does like 20 hours a month 
Uh, so I was going to pay for it, for it again so I could like renew it and stuff, but yeah. then it renewed itself so I don't have to, but I still want to because there's some perks with it. But yeah, there's like that limit. Otherwise, I would have done so much more um, this this month. But yeah, this is my first one in over a week now, I think, which is great because it's really helped me read. So saying that, though, it is quarter two. Shall we do the next sprint for 20 minutes? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's good. Awesome. <laughs> Go, um, I'm also putting, I'm not listening to any like ambience or anything, but I'm putting mine on mute as well because this chair is so squeaky and whenever <laughs> I move, you can hear it. So I've got mine on mute too. So it's all good. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Can you even, can you hear that? Yeah, but it's quite nice. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. it's all good. Okay. Ready? Yeah, ready. Ready. Go. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, <laughs> that hurt my ears. That did. Can you hear the bell when it goes off? No, I can't. I just uh, like I'm very distracted, and so I see lights, and I'm like, okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I was gonna sneak it. Okay. Because it, it's quite it, it's quite loud, so that kind of gave me a bit of a fright. So I'm glad you didn't hear that. <laughs> no, I didn't. And also, can I just say, um, I don't know why books don't do this, but you know what I books what I what I wish books did. I wish they had a recap because mm. I'm reading this and yeah. I love it so much, but yeah. I have no idea. And, and it's weird because I've I've read the other two books like um the Nevermore and then the second one. What what is the second one called? Wondersmith. Wondersmith. Yeah, I read both of those twice. So you would think I would be all set for this, but now I feel like I should have read them before this one because I don't remember any of the characters. Yeah, I would have totally benefited from that as well. Um, there's so many of them that don't ever like. I feel like um the Frostheart sequel could have done with having a recap um but it's sometimes i it's kind of like um they might mention events that happened in the past couple of books but like it's not like right at the start it's like mentioned throughout it's not really a recap the only one i can think of that does have a recap is the new pages and core book by anna james really um, that's smart yeah it's actually got like a previously in pages and core and wish then it's I got had, like yes that's all so of smart that. yeah yeah you know, you i know wish how, like, you know how like series do that or they're like previously on and then it does like a little recap yeah. i just think that's so clever because i don't know what's happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i totally get it it's like um when i was watching glee like here's what you missed on glee kind of thing like that kind of opening section where it had all the important bits that you needed to know yes um yeah so how did everybody do in the chat did you get much read that time i read uh well now i'm on page 44 so what is that like 20 more pages maybe i don't know how about you yeah no, that's pretty awesome uh i think i'm on page 261 now um so i think now it was about 40 pages oh, wow. there um, it, but again it's like it's the illustrations and this text that takes up half the page half the time so it's it's pretty fast sorry my that. dog um jade's got a Oh, doggy. Yeah? You're a good girl. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it's great. I love it. Um, I was watching, oh, I was watching uh, Jesse from Bow Ties and Books' live show last night, and their dog kept coming on and actually knocked Jesse's phone over. No and way. So <laughs> yeah, I, I love Jessie. dogs. Same, same. Um, 35 pages of Trouble with Perfect. Excellent. I still need to read that, the rest of that series. That's one. I read the first book over a year ago, and now I need to read books two and three. I've already kind of forgotten what happened in the first one. I hope there's some kind of recap. I do. Because, yeah, it takes me ages to complete a series or, like, continue. Uh, 24, 17. Oh, I'll finish Puff, Puff and Book of Big Dreams. Oh, that's, like, filled with so many amazing, like, short stories from lots of different authors who... Oh, really? I'll put, yeah, they're, like, published by Puffin. I'll grab it, actually. I've got it on the top. Sorry, you're going to get a crotch shot. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's that there, Puffin Book of Big Dreams. And it's got Jamie Littler in. It's got Jamie Littler in, so it's, like, that's cool. Uh, but it's also got, like, uh, Jackie Wilson in, I'm sure, as well. Ooh. Um, Lots of really cool authors. Um. But yeah, it's you should totally get it. It's okay. so pretty. Do you want to see it under the dust jacket as yes. well? It's like yellow and <gasps> so pretty. You know it's so a keeper pretty. when it has the pretty naked. Yeah. I don't know what it's, what is it called? Uh, yeah, I think it's like, yeah, naked hardcover. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like under the dust. I, I think you're right. <laughs> Unless I'm totally wrong as well. Uh, 80 more pages of Winter House. Love the word game at the beginning of every chapter. Yes. 45 pages. Wow on page 113 of A Deadly Education. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Uh, made it from page 19 to 43 in Green Glass House. Hope you like it. Hope you tune in to Lexi's live show as well. Yes. Um, will that be, is that going to be on your channel or Kaylin's? It'll be on mine, and it's on a Saturday. And uh, we had so much fun with you and Jay doing different games and stuff that we're going to try to do that for the Christmas one. So it's going to be – we'll talk a little bit about the book, but mostly it's going to be um, Three Blondes in a Book is joining, and it's going to be – uh, Liv and Zoe against Kaylin and I, and we'll do the same exact game that we did because that game was so fun. But yeah, we'll be talking about that book. 
Uh, yeah, that was really fun. I can't wait to see. On page 200 of Hollow Pox, nice. Oh, nice. Um, I, I, it just like jumped there, sorry. Uh, the comments keep doing that. Um, I didn't manage any pages. My mum phoned and she never shuts up. <laughs> use, you use that time wisely because you managed to socialize. So it's all good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, oh, there is a recap at the beginning of Perfect. That's good. Oh, nice. That's good. Yeah. But I, we do need that. Um, so do you have any um, plans for the rest of your day, Lexi? Are you doing anything exciting? Nothing exciting. I'm doing a paper that I was supposed to do before Thanksgiving, but it's fine. Um, so to, the rest of the day is going to be really boring. I think I just mentally, when my classes were finished, I just didn't want to do any more work. So I have to like turn in one last thing and then I will be completely done, uh, which thank God, because I'm so yeah. over this semester. And then next semester, I think is actually my final semester. Which I'm very oh, happy good. About. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, um, Latte Knits. It's Alexi. Will there be a live show for City of Ghosts for that one? Because we we couldn't like reschedule. So Liv was going to be our um, co-host for that one. We were really excited, but we couldn't like find a good rescheduling time for all three of us. So we ended up just doing a very casual chat in our Discord. Um, so that one we're not going to have a live show for. Um, but we will have one in December. Sorry understandable uh it, it's such a hectic time as well um for a lot of people it's hard especially everyone's in different time zones yeah so um, what about you saw, what, what am i doing later on yeah what are you doing later oh, on <laughs> well i'm playing some fun games with my patrons i'm gonna do um Woo! some uh play your tbr right for with my patrons that's um cool. that's gonna be at eight uh so like in like 45 minutes uh, and I'm so excited because it's really just like nice and casual and they get to pick which books I get to read and That's it's so going to be really fun. Yeah, oh, it man. is. I, I love it because it's just like so chill and so cozy. Hopefully it goes my way and I get to read all the books I want to read because it's that it's that thing where um, if I lose, I do have to read something. Saying that though, it's never anything I don't want to read. All of it's on my TBR. It's just like a book that I don't want to read as much as the book that I want to read kind of thing. Unless so it's Adam Silvera. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Did, have you seen there's going to be a sequel to um, What If It's Us? Have you seen yeah. that? But you, okay, so you didn't like that book. I liked that book. You hated it. <laughs> That's it's so like, it's literally one of the worst books I've ever read. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I feel like I need to explain that though because I read it before I joined BookTube, so I don't have like any review or anything like that. I feel like I'm gonna have to reread it, write all my thoughts down, and explain why I hate it so much. I feel like maybe I'm 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 being too over dramatic with it by saying it's the worst book I've ever read, but I just hated it. Yeah. <laughs> Watch you reread it and you're like, I love it. No, no, I probably yeah. not <laughs> Can you, could you imagine though? I've been like slating it for like the last year and a half. And like, yeah, I've been giving it such bad talk. Imagine <laughs> if I did end up, huh, Becky Albertalli is right, typing. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope she never sees this. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, it's worse than Infinity Sun. I think I gave it a worse rating than Infinity Sun, yeah. I think I gave, because I do Copile, that G from Book Ross has, mm -hmm. and out of, out of 10, I think One If It's Us has 1.61 or something like that. Oh, wow. like, what? 1.6 out of 10. You really did not out. like it. I thought like, it was, I thought the rom-com aspect was cute, but I, I would say I do understand because Arthur, one of the main characters, he was very whiny, so I understand, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. I totally say that. I totally say that, yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, I just saw that too. That's so sweet. Oh, hopefully you like um love of reading uh, middle grade as well. So that'll be kind of good. Because I know middle grade doesn't get as much attention as anything else. But yeah, I I'm I'm so happy about that. Thank you, Valerie. Gavin, um, question can I ask Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, I, yeah. I was going to ask you, yeah. wh which is your favorite uh, believe -a that you've ever done? Because this is now your Ooh. third one, right? Yeah. Um, and I've loved all of them. Uh, but which one was your favorite? 
I would say probably you know what probably believe it on two because it was only two weeks long so it was <laughs> <laughs> so, it, sorry I should have waited until you put the, the drink down I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> um I it was nice and compact and it felt really I don't know like I had the time as well because you know off work I mean I was off work this believe it on as well funny how that worked out um but at the same time it's like there was less stress I guess I believe it on too and yeah. it just I don't know it it was quite magical I managed to dedicate a lot of time to it um but yeah we uh and also I do just want to quickly say like to Tamar yes I I do feel much better uh I do put a lot of pressure on myself I do get that like and it's not anybody else doing it to me it's me doing it to myself I do I do that a lot but don't worry about me uh I am good I am good. Gavin, if if you don't mind me speaking for you, you just um he loves to make everything so magical that I mean I can always tell by the quality of the compendium and your maps and the prompts and like how involved it is. Like it's just a lot of work. So I absolutely understand. But I will say the world is a little bit more magical that you are in it and that you do things like this, Gavin. Um I mean, I love it. Like it genuinely has made my November better. So it means a lot oh, to us. Thanks, Lexi. That means a lot. Also, you're giving me such a big head now. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, what is Believe a Thon? It's a middle grade read a thon I host. <laughs> you uh, question? It's a map. It's great. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I love I, Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like um, I do try to get too involved, I guess, uh, sometimes. Like I can just like let people do their thing and just like sit back, like, hey, this is. Believe it on you do what you need to do, but I just want to get in and just like control everything, which I need to stop doing. Um, but here's a here's a question for you, Lexi. I know that you annotate your books. I'm curious what kind of things that you annotate about and your system for that. Oh yeah. Mm. Um, so I have different I feel like I do different types of annotation depending on like the the reason behind it. So for example, I feel like I should do a whole video on this, but if yeah, it's that'd be cool. if it's something for school. Um, I have a totally different system than if it's something that I'm doing for myself. Um, so like, for example, if I'm, let's pretend that I'm reading this for a class, like for a librarian class on children's literature, I have different systems and tabs for like, if somebody says something in class that I think is interesting, things that I want to bring up and then things that my professor says. Um, and that system is totally different than if I'm annotating for like my own personal knowledge. Like I'm I'm technically annotating the Iliad right now because I'm trying to understand it at like a deeper level. Um, but I don't annotate most books that I read for pleasure unless it's like for a book club or something that I'm really trying to understand or school. Usually I just like star things that I really like or I'll tab things, but that's about it. Cool. Yeah, you could do a whole video on that if you wanted. That would be really do you, interesting. Do you annotate, Gavin? I really should though because I think it would help me discuss because I stopped doing wrap-ups um because mm -hmm. I found myself saying the same thing about books that I enjoyed like oh, I, I loved it for this reason that reason and I could never really pick out specific moments because I'd read a book quite quickly and then by the end of it I'm kind of like moved on to the next one and then by the time it takes for me to talk about that book I've kind of not exactly forgotten it but I forgot what I thought about it yeah. you know like I just like, or I, I didn't have an opinion about it anymore. That was not going to be generic. Um, but I feel like I should because that if I could pull out certain like quotes and moments, I feel like I would be able to talk about them a lot better than I do. Um, but I think I 2021 is the year I did that, I think. Yes. Um, oh, I'm too far up on these comments. Sorry, I'm so behind. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Oh, thanks, people in the comments who are saying um, nice things. Middle grade is a great genre. It's a it's just a great. I agree. Being of books, it's just it's so good. Um, oh, thank you, Lisa. I <laughs> I promise I'm not like bringing up comments just to inflate our egos or anything. But <laughs> no, keep a comment. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, bless. Um, yeah, I, oh, yeah. I know. Like, uh, I don't want people to think that I've just left them on a desert island like this is what you got to do do it you know i just don't like that feeling um right so i've gone i've just went straight to the bottom there sorry 22 books this month 22 that is incredible louise oh my god i could never that's amazing that's amazing oh, here is a really good question 
uh if you could only save three middle grades what would they be oh that's so horrible <laughs> it's tough too because it's like do you go with the your current favorites or like your nostalgia favorites i don't know mm, yeah because what's the situation as well like does that mean every single book's just going to disappear from the world and we only save like the three or like what are, are we on a desert island or <laughs> you know it's like there's so many threads to this yeah. um current favorites though I, gosh it changes so much let's Ugh. do let's let's do a team effort so how about if you okay. say one and then i'll say one and we'll save three together and then we have to decide on the third one. Oh, okay that's a good idea okay, okay. right Right. Well, obviously, I'm saying Frost Hall. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. You know what? I'm reading that this December, by the way, because um, I oh, have yeah. the two. I have the one that you sent me and then the one that I bought. And so I'm going to try to binge them together. I'm really excited. That would be about so it. good. Okay. So, so Frost Heart is our first pick. Okay. My pick, I'm going to go with nostalgia. So I'm going to go the magician's nephew because my mom Ooh. actually, when I was in first grade, she, um, all of the parents had to come into the class and like read. And my mom came in and she had my dad set up like all of these trees, like fake trees behind her. And she brought in costumes and she actually read the magician's nephew while she had all of us act it out. And so I'm like very sentimentally attached to that book. So the magician's nephew from the Chronicles of Narnia is my pick. Yeah. Wow. I want to say you acted out. I want to say that. <laughs> as, a, as a first grade sassy year old, that's my mom. So I get to be the queen. Gosh. <laughs> I love that. Also, you have a really pretty edition of the Narnia books as well, don't you? You've got the Barnes & Noble. Oh, yes. it's so beautiful, that book. And I just ordered, there's a collection edition, like a, a box set, um, where like they're all illustrated that I just ordered too, and that one is so pretty. Um, I just ordered that one, so it just came in. I'm very excited. Okay, so our third um, one. What are we doing oh, for our third? Oh, okay. Um, a third, so, right, I picked one of my old, like, kind of current favorites you picked a nostalgic one so this one could be a more universal one that i feel like can be quite popular and maybe a lot of people love and yes. i feel like something that both of us have loved okay well, um, let's say one at the same time we have to say it on okay. the same time okay ready okay one right. two three never more, never more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah i feel like that one is like something that both of us loved but also like i feel like a lot of people love nevermore 100 yes. percent. yeah oh i like i like that game that was fun <laughs> let's see what you guys are saying oh the house with the chicken legs that mm. one is have you read that yeah you have you oh, love yeah i love 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 and love the recent one as well castle of tangled magic love it yet i'm so excited you will, you will. Oh, uh, apparently Magician's Nephew is narrated by Kenneth Branagh. I never knew that. Ooh, I'll have to listen I'm, to it. Maybe this holiday say, season. I also, I don't actually own the Chronicles of Narnia books, so I may end up getting the editions that you, you've just bought. I'll send you uh, the so link I, after this. Like, I'll, I'll text it to you or something. Yes, please. Um, Because that Barnes & Normal edition is like £200 online or something. So let's not, let's not go for that one. <laughs> uh, um. You rated it four stars. What is that? Never. Oh, is that never more? Or house with chicken legs? Let us know. Because, yeah, I won't make you leave if you disagreed with the rating of a book. I'd never do that to you. Never. <laughs> Our pages and call that would also be really good to save. I really want to read that one. So good. Now there's three of the books that you could binge them next year or something. Yes. I also do this. I always forget all of the middle book, middle grade books I've ever read. Somebody just asked me out of the blue, like, what's your favorite or anything? Pfft, gone. Same. I'm like, I can't read. I don't know. Every I single can't time. Read. Yeah. Can't have read, you, can't think. Have you read The Never Ending Story? I feel like I've asked you this before. Uh, I... No, but um, that is oh, Michael Endy or something. It's It's like, isn't it like translated or something? Is that... Isn't that right? I don't know. I used to read it all the time when I was a kid, though, because it was about a kid who was bullied. And so he, um, like, finds escapism through his books. And he went into a bookshop, found a book that said The NeverEnding Story. And I think he, like, borrowed it or, like, stole it because he couldn't afford it. And he ends up reading it. And then he ends up being in the book. And, like, as a kid, I would read that again and again and again. That was, like, my dream. That is the dream. I would love to fall into a book now. 
Same. And that's kind of like Pages and Cole, because she can go into the books, but also bring the characters out. And then there's also yeah. Ink Heart as well. Um, I haven't read those. Those are classics. They're like staples in the genre. Have you read them? I've only read the Pages and Cole. I haven't read Ink Heart yet. That was on my TBR this month, but it's so big and I just like haven't yeah. really gotten a chance to get to it because I could have picked that over Christmasaurus but yeah. Christmasaurus is so short and like so quick to get through and it's got the uh, illustrations which are fun and, yeah definitely and the uh if, if, I mean I'm reading it physically but if I wanted to later I could just pop the audiobook on because that's on on Libby okay. uh yeah uh, oh it's Pages and Cole's absolute favorite oh well, are we doing one more sprint or are we done well it's like half past now um so we were just gonna yeah um do this live show until half past and because i got my live show at eight with my patrons but um, we'll do but, more of this this is fun yeah i love doing stuff like this 100 percent. i mean i don't believe it's over tomorrow i'm quite like busy here there and everywhere but it's nice to like be able to just like sit down like socialize and yeah and do yeah so even if it's not for believe it i feel like we could do more like sprints and stuff like just generally we could do really fun do you want to do maybe like a Christmas themed one? We could both have like hot chocolate and like be really cozy and maybe get some like Christmas ambient stuff going on. That would be fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 100%. 100%. That sounds great. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll, uh, and we'll let you guys know what we, what we do with that. But it'd be really fun, I think. Um, especially just to escape for a bit, read whatever we wanted and chat. It'd be really nice. Um, so thank you um Lexi for joining me today like seriously I know you've been so busy you've just celebrated Thanksgiving as well which I hope was uh, a really nice nice break from everything as well and spend it with family yes the mashed potatoes were a 10 out of 10 so <laughs> <laughs> oh don't you'll make me hungry <laughs> uh well thank oh thanks for all the nice comments as well guys in the in the chat um oh yeah because Bugobli is um is out i need to watch that too i think there was also a booktube rewind posted as well by Lita m uh they've done like a booktube version of you know like youtube rewind um, oh neat yeah. so hannah from Lita m's done like a booktube version of it so i want to see what that one's about that that should be really fun um oh what is sexy's channel i missed it again it's linked it's linked in the description but it's alexandra roslin um so do check lexi out please do please do and if you've read green glass house Lexi does have a live show coming up for that. Yes. Uh, so, okay. um, so yeah, thank you every single person who tuned in. Uh, sorry we didn't get another sprint in. I talk too much and I this is like a great catch up with Lexi as well. And just nice to nice to chat and stuff. So I loved it. I loved it. Oh, right now then. Uh, thanks everyone. Um, and I will hope you enjoy the last couple of days of believe -a And yeah, make sure you check out Lexi's channel and we will see you later. Bye, everyone. Bye.